Oh, he goes up. What are we doing? Jules! Jules! Come on, guys! Let's go! <laughs> Give me a little bit of Bill Belichick. You mean to tell me you can't make a wide route throw? We have people in Foxborough High School that can do that. <laughs> That was Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman, who hasn't been afraid to express himself no. this season. His impersonations are pretty good. Welcome back. We had to keep the coach, Coach Herm <laughs> Edwards, here with us. But you know what? Let's get Skip's reaction to this. Because sure. I, have, I have a feeling you have something to say about this. I have this. a whole lot to say about this. What do really? you think? Bill Belichick, in his long history, his great history of coaching, has never coached anyone like Julian Edelman. The, the nerve of this little man <laughs> to, to impersonate Tom Brady in such a way as to actually fuel the fire of how Bart Scott infamously described Tom Brady a few weeks back. Remember when he called him a dork and a cornball and not a tough guy? Mm -hmm. well, well, that's going to feed right into that portrayal of Bart's of Tom Brady. And then to make fun of, to have the audacity to publicly make fun of Bill Belichick. <laughs> It, it is. What, uh, listen, I can think of some some old school terms that you and I know that would describe Julian Edelman, and I can't say them on TV. But I think we all know what what kind of kid he is. But here's the bottom line to it: You want to talk about tough? He has earned the right in that locker room to get away with this to that quarterback and that coach because they know how valuable, how crucially valuable he has come, become to this franchise. But here's the outrageous part. For all the class and character of the New England Patriots, nobody in this league, nobody comes close to trash talk the way Julian Edelman does. He will start it from his first catch of the game. Watch what happens against the arch rival Jets. He'll be in Revis's face. He'll be in Cromartie's face. He'll be in anybody's face who dares to even look his way after he gets tackled. He will tell them they ain't this and they ain't that, and he's coming back, and he's going to do it again and again and again. And he has constantly backed it up. Is any receiver any tougher than this kid is? Now, he's 29 years of age, but he stands about 5'10 and goes about 200 pounds. So he's got a little bit of stature to him, but he's 5'10, a former college quarterback at Kent State. Are you kidding me? And what happened in the Super Bowl when they were down and it looked like out early in the, the fourth quarter of that game? They're down 24 to 14, and it's third and 14 from their 28-yard line. And Brady stepped up in the pocket and fires it over the middle to Edelman. And guess who he goes helmet to helmet with? Cam Chancellor. Kaboom! Helmet to helmet. In college, Cam, would he, he gets ejected for that play because that's, that's spear. That's what they would call it, helmet to helmet. And guess what? Edelman barely got up, staggered off the field, came back in the game. Ch Cam, Ch Cam Chancellor was a little wobbly after the play, too. And Julian comes back and catches another big third down play that gets him down to the four-yard line and then ultimately catches the winning touchdown pass in this game. So he makes this offense go. And because of that, he can have the audacity, the nerve, the unmitigated oh, gall, as Stephen oh. A. would say, <laughs> to, to, oh. to impersonate his quarterback and his coach in not so flattering a form in either case. Your thoughts? Coach? <laughs> I think, you, I, you know, I, I agree with a, a, a lot of things that you just said. And, and, and this guy has earned the right uh, to play on this football team the, and the way he plays. Um, he, is the, he is what I call the starter. He, he, he gets the offense started uh, when you think about Tom Brady. As much as we talk about Gronk and Brady's ability to, to obviously run the train, you, you need a start. You need a start. A like start a and play. fire starter. Yeah, okay. you, you yeah, need a yeah, start and play. Yeah. And Edelman is always involved. And remember, he was the third guy. I mean, it was yeah. Wes Welker. It was Amendola. Edelman was kind of the guy coming in behind all these guys. Said, "You're going to play slot. We're going to trade you with quarterback." You know, and, and, and first first year or so, you know, he struggled a little bit. He's found a niche in this offense, and he's a big he's a big time player for him. He leads the team in receptions, obviously. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that makes a lot, a lot of plays for them underneath. And he's tough. You're right. He always shows up. Reminds me of Troy Brown. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. old Troy Brown? Like. Just kept showing up. Troy, Troy Brown do anything he wanted to. He's a multi-purpose guy. Defense, yeah. He played everything. Yeah. He's like, kind of like Troy Brown. And, and there's always been a guy in this offense or on this team that has these attributes. 
Edelman is the guy. He knows he can get away with it, and they're having some fun. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Stephen A., how do you feel about Edelman's comments and impersonation? I don't particularly, I don't particularly care. Here's the reality. If you are going to imitate somebody, what I care about most is that you're accurate and you're funny. Like, for example, if you're imitating Tom Brady, do you sound like him? Does Tom Brady really sound like that? That's what I peeled from it. I want to know, did Tom Brady really, really sound like that? Or is that just a bad imitation on the part of Julian Edelman? We don't know. Does Bill Belichick really sound like that when he's talking to those guys? Or is that just a bad imitation on the part of Julian Edelman? Julian Edelman had 105 receptions two years ago. He had 92 receptions last year. He's already got 40 this year. He's a seventh-round pick from Kent State who's been with the New England Patriots his entire career, dating back to 2009. By mere virtue of the fact that he's made the team and he's been an active participant on this roster, he had the temerity, the unmitigated goal, and the absolute right to do whatever he pleases because it's all in fun for teammates he obviously loves. Then he goes out on the field and he produces. So there's no, uh, you, you know, there's nothing big about this to me. All I appeal from it is how accurate is the depiction. When I look at Frank Caliendo imitating Bill Belichick or, or Chris Berman or, or being Stephen B. Smith to my Stephen A. Smith, I laugh hysterically because it's, it's hilarious and to, to some degree very accurate. Is Julian Edelman accurate? Does Tom Brady really sound like that, giving credence to what Bart Scott said? That's what I took away from it. I wanted to know. I literally wanted to hear Tom Brady mic'd in the huddle because I wanted to hear him during the game to see if he really, really sounds like that because that would be funny. <laughs> well, so my question to you, do you think Tom Brady's voice is that high pitched? I do. Jules, Jules. Do you really? Again, yes. again. Yes. Jules. Again, yes, I don't really? think I don't well, think I so, heard that. but we don't you, know. You know we I don't, don't know. know. And listen, once you get your cat, your chest caved in a couple of times, <laughs> you get hit, and God's got you tap dancing. Who knows how you sound at that particular moment in time? I don't know how Tom Brady sounds. I know how he can throw. I know that he's a winner, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't sound like a weasel from time to time. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't mm. know. I mean, it doesn't take away from his greatness, but if Julian Edelman uh, is accurately depicting Tom Brady, if I'm Tom Brady, I would be pretty upset. <laughs> pretty upset with him right now. I mean, we, we, have some really heated we have some heated discussions here, and you guys never sound like that with that high-pitched voice. Never no. that. No, no, I don't. Right? I can't speak about Skip. Mm. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. Uh, the funny yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. I liked hearing Julian yeah. Edelman say that uh, he gets yelled at by Tom, at, by Tom Brady all the time. He, I that was I'm, I'm that, sure that's that a good happens. thing. Yeah. It Tom is. Brady's hollering at you, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so here's the bottom line. Julian Edelman is better than Wes Welker. He, he is much more dangerous to me in that offense because he true. can run with the football after he that. catches it. He can get loose down the field, and he can get deeper than Wes Welker could get. So their offense, thanks to this, this guy, the, the audacity of this guy, has taken an upgrade at that position. Wes Welker was pretty good. I know he's pretty good, but I'm, I'll take this Wes guy. remember Wes Welker at the end. But Julian yeah, Edelman was better. <laughs> and, yeah. But hopefully he does not have the fate whoa, 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 that with whoa, whoa, whoa. Wes Welker last in his comment. concussion. Yep. Last yes, comment. I mean no disrespect to Julian Edelman because he can play. And he has proven he can play. But there's a lot of cats that get bold playing with Tom Brady. When you got that brother throwing you the football, you can get a little bit bold. I'd like to see how Julian Edelman would be acting if Kirk Cousins was throwing him the football. I'm just saying. That's I'm just fair. saying. I, I would agree with that. All right. Oh, Tom Brady yeah. makes you better. Right. No doubt. <laughs> he makes coaches better, too. Yeah. He definitely does. Makes you does. bolder. Makes mm -hmm. you bolder. Yep. All of you guys make me better. All right. It was one of the highlights of the year last year, the Odell Beckham mm -hmm. Jr. catch, but it came in a loss to the Cowboys. Will the Cowboys continue their winning ways against the Giants? We're going to discuss Where's that. Where's that Beckham in Jr. at? He's been hurt a lot. He's he still has, hurt. He has, but he's